Hello and welcome to my channel. As Christians, if we have something to say, then we have to say it whilst we're still alive because you know something? I sometimes visit Red Hill Cemetery near where I live and there's several people that I visit but there's just one person I want to talk about and that's Paul Anderson. He was a childhood friend of mine who died on a motorbike when he was almost 16 in the year 2002. And whenever I see his gravestone there I just think to myself well I'm alive he isn't so why are we worrying and getting et up by negative comments and being overly concerned about what other people think to us if we've got something to say then let's say it if we've got something to express then let's express it if we want to do a good deed a good work then let's do that right let's not be put off by what this world thinks this temporary world is just passing away right so none of us knows how much longer we've got left to live nobody even the healthiest of people can just drop dead just like that i don't mean to sound morbid but that's just how it is <laughs> okay i'm a realist i like to face reality and as christians all only have so much time to witness to people to set that good christian example and to pray so we need to spend our time praying witnessing to people as much as we reasonably can because some people don't want to know fair enough never force the gospel down anybody's throats right so yeah whenever i visit red hill cemetery and i see audrey russell's grave she was an old friend of me and my dad's uh, a very nice lady then there's paul anderson and there's a couple of other people there as well it all, always puts things into perspective for me because i think to myself you know, we, we have to do what we can when we can. Life is short. Let's not worry about the passing opinions of people. Us Christians can often get picked on. We can get victimised. We can get bullied, harassed, made fun of, mocked. Our, our beliefs can be mocked. Some Christians are even getting their heads chopped off all around the world. We need to pray for all, all of the Christian persecution. Because at the moment, Christians are the most persecuted out of all the faith groups worldwide. Okay, check it out if you didn't realise that already, but it's the truth. Okay, so let's pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and pray for the salvation of as many people as possible throughout this entire generation and every to come worldwide until God's return and for God to unleash his Holy Spirit and his loyal faithful angels into, into this world to give people humility, wisdom, understanding, a spirit of repentance also, yeah. So it's beautiful where I am right now. Let me just show you a little bit of it. It's a nature reserve that's near me, right? Whew, it feels good just to stand here and not say anything and just to relax. Uh, just think about me and my life just for a second. I've always been a loner, had practically no friends all of my life, only one short six month relationship when I was 34 years of age. I could have just thought to myself, you know what, stuff all this, I'm just going to suit myself. I'm not going to bother with this YouTube channel. I could have gotten very, very cynical if I wanted to, but I realize now at the age of 36, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. Middle age is just around the corner for me. and. Me, like everybody else, I'm just a mortal man. I don't know how much longer I've got left, so I'm going to make the most of every day. That doesn't mean to say that I'm going to go crazy and start walking into the streets with a Bible in my hand with a big megaphone or anything, but no. <laughs> I've never done street preaching. But let's just put everything into perspective, right? This world, it, the opinions of this world, people will always have something to say about us Christians. Remember what I said? that opinions are like ears, everybody's got them, or opinions are like noses perhaps, because everyone's got noses as well. But we mustn't take the negative comments and the negative reactions of people to heart, because these people are not going to be around forever, just like us. We need to put everything into perspective, love one another, forgive one another, pray for one another, and do what we can whilst we can. I can't stress this enough. Why fret about what the world thinks to us? why why care we shouldn't we should only care about god's opinion what he thinks to us right and the older you get the less you you care about the opinions of other people that's certainly been the case with me because in my early 20s mid 20s and as a teenager 
I was more bothered about what other people thought to me, about my beliefs, about my faith. I took things to heart more. I used to get into arguments online. I used to get embroiled in these so-called intellectual debates. I used to argue with atheists and uh, evolutionists and all sorts of types of people, you know, and it achieves nothing. You best believe that the, the vast majority of arguments don't achieve anything good. So let's not argue as well, like what I mentioned in that uh, other video I did about why Christians should not argue. Um, so drop a comment down below, okay, and tell me if you can relate to anything that I'm saying right now. I think I better stop the video because my arm is starting to ache. <sighs> So, yeah, let me just show you this area where I'm at right now before I uh, end the video. Yeah. I love that over there. See those red berries? See, God, in his infinite wisdom, feeds the birds. So, really, we have no need to feed any of the birds because he does it for us. But, yeah, my mum and I, in fact, like to feed the wildlife just for, for our own pleasure. It's... um. Anyway, I hope and pray that you're all well, so let's be prayer warriors, let's not argue, let's not force the gospel down anybody's folks and just put everything into perspective. This is a mortal curl that we are living in. You know, but once we've passed away, we've passed away. We have to make the most of it. Life is precious. Okay, so... Bye-bye and take care and bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen.